I'm Mark from the Farming Forum and I'm lucky to be out this afternoon with Stephen McNair from New Holland with the new CR11 and what a piece of kit it is. <laughs> it is, it's unbelievable. <laughs> so we're, we're in some uh, winter wheat here today and we're doing some big tonnages. We've been doing about 110 to 115 ton an hour over the last half an hour or that. Wow. Uh, some very fit. We're just, Engine, engine power is our limit factor at the minute, so as you can see it's absolutely low. That's not what we wanted. But. <laughs> so it's not true about the quick headers, you can block them up. <laughs> you can, yeah. <laughs> we didn't block the combine, that's so fine. <laughs> So how long have you, how long's the tour been going on with this? Uh, tour's been going on how long have we been on tour now? Well, we started originally with the press event on the 16th of July, and then, uh, yes, yeah, so we started on the 16th of July, and then I've been out ever since, and I've been everywhere in the country. But we're running two CR11s, so we're running one south and one north, so this is the northern combine. So we're kind of working our way up to North Scotland, uh, but we've worked our way from Essex the whole way up, uh, along the east coast, across the Shropshire, and then we're getting our way up towards Scotland now. So we're out in Brussels? Yes, we're out in Brussels today. And this is one of Brussels customers, I believe? Yes, this customer is running a 9.90 and a CR 9.80. And I've got to say, I mean, I've not seen much wheat in the way of wheat crops. Um, this is a fair old, fair old crop, isn't it? It is. I just think you've seen quite a lot of different, different quality crops over the last few weeks. I've seen everything to be honest over the last few weeks and I've caught a lot of crops already for so, for so early in the season um, I was cutting spring barley two and a half weeks ago which is well unheard of for me being Irish we don't cut spring barley till the first week of September <laughs> so it's a bit um, but no it's been going very well the combine overall um, like anyone that's seen it has been very impressed with it and today we're working with uh, a grain, one grain under the hand, at 100 ton an hour, wow. which is very that's, minimal. That's, you know, that, those figures alone are so, they're just phenomenal really. I mean, Whether, have you seen, been here for a little while and seen a few loads taken off the combine? The, the scary bit for me is how quick, how quick you get a tank full. Yes, yeah, yeah. very quick. The, well, this is, how many metres wide is it? Uh, 15.2 metres. Wow. So, um, Time to time to full five minutes from now at this output. So when we empty the tank this time, we'll see and it'll tell us roughly how long it'll take so, us to fill yeah. the tank. So six or seven minutes on guessing better. Roughly. Yeah. Roughly, I down four minutes there already. Wow. Yeah. And we're at 107 percent engine load, keeping it full and all our our losses are very low. We're keeping all our funnels, we're using IntelliSense, so IntelliSense is looking after everything. Um, and that's doing all the control of the speed settings of the combine, everything. So I'm not correct in saying the CR11 is new from the ground up? New from the ground up, so there's 7,500 parts in a traditional CR, 7,000 parts of this is brand new. Wow. So the only, only thing that's really the same is the cab, the seat is different in the cab, yeah. bigger seat, and our screens. So we're one, gone for our Intelliview 12 screens. And, the, and there's, a lot, there's a lot of technology going on there, you know, there's a hell of a lot of information is given in. Yeah, um, so we... Is this, is this technology across the other combines as well, or is this specific to the CR11? Uh, no, there is a lot of technology in this combine, like in Telesense and Telecruise and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but there is a few things now that's different. So we have a mog cam, which we have in our other machines, which shows you how much percentage of mog, but you physically can't see the picture of the sample. Yeah. But now we can see physically the sample. So you'll see I barely any material other than grain, which is mog. Yeah. And then broken grains, only a tiny little bit in the grand scheme of things. So the, the Nutrisense, on the other side of the screen, then, is that, is that specific to this machine? Yes, yeah, so this is, we can retrofit this to all generation, okay. but this is an NIR sensor, and this is reading starch, crude protein, all them kind of wow. things. 
dry matter, and then that's always working away in the background, creating the variable rate maps and all that across the across the, the field as we go. But IntelliSense itself is probably because this combine has IntelliSense integrated from the start, it just it works very well. And like I have my max engine load set at 105% engine load, and it'll keep pushing to that all day long. But with looking at my rotor losses and my sieve losses and crack grain and stuff like that along the way. Phenomenal really, eh? and it just... Yeah. So you, you put the old ground without me realising, or was that done it itself? No, I put it out, <laughs> I put it out. I <laughs> tried to signal to That's got to be the biggest unloaded order in the world ever. Uh, 210 <laughs> litres a second unloading, and I can hit a button down here, and then that will half rate it down to 105 litres a second. So I can, I, somebody timed me the other day, a one minute, 20 seconds on load, 20,000 litres of grain from full. Wow. When you miss the trailer, you know all about them. Yeah, it's not a shovel job, is it? No, no, it's, <laughs> it's a loading shovel job. <laughs> yeah. So you obviously don't spend all of your uh, all of your year driving combines then? No, so I look after anything that New Holland manufactures, I'm a demonstrator for. And so um, I demonstrate foragers, combines, tractors, telehandlers, wheel loaders, implements, everything. And then the shows and that come into that as well. So we obviously do cereals and llama and all them kind of shows. But I cover the UK and Ireland, so that kind of keeps me busy all year round. So you can be with this combine until October? Uh, yeah, I'll be with this combine probably till the first week of September. All oh, right, good. And then that will get me to Aberdeen, yeah. and then back down then do our clean down process and get ready for sale. Oh, the other CR11 is that's down south is nearly just finished its demo tour and it started at the same time. It just shows the difference in the wow. seasons. Just starting to run our crop down south. So. How many, how many horsepower is this? So this is uh, FPT Corsair 16, 16 litre straight six, uh, with 775 horsepower. Wow! But uh, I know we have we have put horsepower in this machine, but we've also changed a lot with the drive line and everything like that as well. So there's a lot of other things. It's not just horsepower that makes this machine perform better. Um, you have your efficiency of drive. So we put changed our engine to an inline engine now so and your engine is offset to allow for that big unloading tube yeah because when that goes out it's a heavy weight yeah. when it's full of grain it's not the sort of thing you think about normally but no it's, so um, with the engine being in line now we have the engine slanted forward a small bit so we are coming out of the back of the bell housing of the engine into a three speed cvt gearbox so the three speed rovers all changeable from the cab now and then we're bringing the drive out of that CVT gearbox and in a straight line into the left hand rover down to a DFR gearbox, dynamic feed roll gearbox down here and then um, that speed sync in our DFR to our rovers so before we had a fixed DFR speed right. and now we have a 1.06 offset so it's always keeping the same offset so as we speed up our rovers we have no limiting factor anymore that speeds up as well and gets that crop through and kind of creates that better feed. But with the with the CR, it's just like to get your maximum performance. You're trying to push it to maximum engine load yeah. all day. And that all starts from the front, though, doesn't it? From the you know from yeah. how, how you feed it into the machine. I mean, I mean, it's, it's a sight to behold. All that all that crop going feeding that evenly into the, into the front elevators just yeah like on the screen there at the minute we're just doing a hundred ton an hour I'm just sitting at 102% engine load there at the minute, uh, 102 ton an hour spot rate, 
Um, but we can we can probably do more than 100 ton an hour easily. But you need perfect conditions. Like the straw probably isn't fully ready at the minute. But it's like every field in the UK at the minute. Yeah. The straw is um, a little bit behind the the way. The way. So yeah. like even you can feel the engine dying down there a little bit and it come by just slowing itself down and now it's going to speed itself back up but it's also looking at rotor losses so it's telling me my limit factor at the minute is engine speed, engine power so then that's rotor loss my limit factor so in telesense every 28 seconds we'll look at what the limit factors are right, and then we'll try and make a change yes. to improve that but I can also tell it a lot myself so if I get out of the combine I look under the swap and I'm not happy with my rotor losses I can say way too much, too much acceptable or more is allowed. So I'm happy with my um, rotor losses at the minute, so I just tell it I'm, it's, it's acceptable. I've got to say, have you seen it at Agritechnica? It was impressive, but we'll put close and personal then, but to see it actually working is just something else. It really like there is. is a big volume of crop, like yeah. enough to get into yeah, that header. So is the, is the collaboration with McDonald um, because of this combine, or is, it, is the, the flex drive ever been offered as an option previously? So we've offered it as an option since 2022. Um, we've signed the agreement with McDonald in 2022. Um, probably a little bit of that reason was because this combine was coming. Right. Because okay. we don't make our own 50 foot header. Yeah. So McDonald is the perfect match for this, we can keep it fed maximum the whole time. 50 foot header following the ground, you know, in UK conditions, 50 foot is a big span yeah. of header. <laughs> it's huge. It's not so big when you're sitting in here, no, no, when you're when looking you, at yeah. outside, it's big. <laughs> yes. Yeah, when you stood at one end of it. I won't yeah. have to change all the knife sections on it, that's for sure. <laughs> I haven't had to change much actually, I think I've only done eight knife sections all season, oh, well. so that's good. Yeah. That's that the, is the best thing I like about the Macdon, is you can just drop it on the ground and just forget about it. It just does its thing. Uh, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. We're doing average work in there, we're doing six hectares an hour. Wow. So the highest I've had that is seven hectares an hour, seven by two hectares an hour or something like that this season. But I was in some lighter stuff, but it's a lot of acreage. Yeah. Yeah, really. But this is with um, manpower. That's the way things are going. Like every contractor or every farmer you speak to are struggling to get manpower. Yeah, and this, I guess you know, this, this customer, you know, running two machines, um, you, know, you could not say easily, you, but it, that, would be, that would be the option, wouldn't it? You swap two for one. Yeah, it just makes sense. Yeah. I, I know you have probably a, more, a bit more expensive machine, and everyone probably gets a little bit about the price but you're swapping out two men for one two fills of diesel a day for one and two services a year for one yeah and i guess you know, the two machines you're running out is i said they're they're heading towards the same sort of output yeah as this is yeah and with weather how it is at the minute like this morning it was raining and misty here and then we're after getting going there since one o'clock. Yeah. And you need to be able to just get on. Yeah. You need that output. Yeah. Yeah. The grain is all good left in the field. No, and we see, you know, we see that across other bits of the job, don't we? Really, you know, drills have got wider, yeah. so you can get you can get on faster. Yeah. Average transfer horsepower has increased. Big time. So I suppose it's only feasible that, you know. Combine output follows that. Yeah. I guess the challenge is being able to handle it at the other end. It's the big problem. Like with this 20,000 litre grain tank, when you're on load, that's one one tank full to every trailer. Yeah. Whether it's a 16 ton trailer or an 18 ton trailer, you're, gonna, you're not able to buy any more. No. So it's just the logistics of that and yeah. trying to keep them moving as well. And then your grain dryer or your grain store being able to handle that volume of grain as well. It's a seriously impressive machine, and um, I've been quite privileged to come out and be able to <laughs> see it. So thank you very much. No problem.